What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new mini series moving on from some of the cool stuff we've been doing with potential players and stuff like that and today we are looking at the biggest upgrades that are going on from FIFA 13 to FIFA 14 so I've managed to get myself a list of the full confirmed upgrades, downgrades, every single player on the game and what I'm going to be doing guys is looking at all the biggest upgrades of players that have ended up over 75 so there's a ton that have gone from say 43 to 63 but that for me has no interest, in, uh, I have no interest in that whatsoever so we're going to be looking at the ones that are going from bronzes to gold, silvers to gold, stuff like that. And that is what we're going to be doing. So, before we get stuck into it, what I do want to say is if you guys want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcointraders.com. There is links there in the description down below. Anyway, let's get going. So, first up, we have Portillo. This guy is a cam who plays for Malaga. Now, he starts off as a 64 bronze. He did get upgraded in FIFA 13 to a 73 central attacking mid. But from his base card to this season's card, he's actually gone up by a massive. 12 one of the biggest upgrades well the biggest upgrade of any player moving on to a gold so an absolutely massive one there as you can see his card looks really decent he had a pretty nice card last season and basically in the space of two years he's gone bronze silver and then gold so a really nice way for him to uh, to get onto it this year and again some Malaga players are looking very very good this year next up we have a guy with quite frankly an unpronounceable name I'm not even going to try it uh, he plays for Stad de Lems uh, he's a central defensive mid for Poland uh, started off their absolutely shocking card as his first one next he got upgraded last season to 74 a nice big upgrade there for him and he actually started to look a bit better there minus the pace of course and then last but not least we have his gold FIFA 14 card there where he has a plus 11 rating from previous going from 65 to 76 and still looking pretty decent sadly the pace has stayed the same but the rest of the stats with an 80 defensive in 81 heading and 72 passing is pretty impressive for a gold central defensive mid. Next up, we have the young little wizard Marquinhos. Now, this guy made his move over from Roma to PSG for a ridiculous amount of money. I believe it was 30 million. Absolutely bonkers amount for a player so young. And uh, there, his card really does not look impressive. But when he gets his plus 10 boost on him, now, I can tell you guys, this is an incredible card. 78 pace, 78 defending, 72 heading. Absolutely amazing. And this guy is going to be worth a bomb. He's Him and, like, Thiago Silva, you can partner on the back, is going to be unbelievable. It just further sweats the... Uh, the the Brazilian defence out, you've got the Juan Jesus who's had a massive upgrade in his pace you've got David Luiz, you've got Thiago Silva the centre backs are going to be insane so they are going to be all up in their 3-5-2s anyway, next up we have this guy and he's one of those players where his club, I actually always forget. Uh, I always forget the name of it, but I've had to Google it, and it's Kuban Krasnoda. Now, they have a few decent players, quite a few Armenian players as well. Obviously, with him being Armenian, that kind of fits the bill. He actually had an all right first card starting off with FIFA 13 last year. 81 pace, 80 dribbling. That is not bad whatsoever. And then he got upgraded in January to a 72. 81 pace, 80, def uh, 80 dribbling, 72 shooting. Now, you'd expect uh, if he's actually been playing quite well in real life and going off his stats, having 11 uh, goals in 24 games, from a right mid is absolutely sensational so you would have expected especially getting a move to a bigger Russian club like Spartak Moscow he would have a big improvement and as you can see there he clearly did going up by nine ratings uh, sadly his pace has barely been affected his shoot uh, his dribbling has barely been affected but his shooting rightly so scoring all those goals has been bumped up massively so he's actually got a really impressive card there some really really nice stats 75 passing as well is also really really good and I can actually see him being one of those right mids in that league that could be very decent he might not be a particular good winger with the lack of pace but as a right mid perhaps in a 3-5-2 or something like that he could be really really good dropping in as more of like a playmaking player could do an absolutely fantastic job so that is the end of this episode guys we have a few more of these coming let me know what you think of them in the comments down below thanks again for watching show your support by dropping likes if we can hit 500 likes on this that would be absolutely fantastic subscribe to this channel if you haven't already have a nice day and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye